Many Singaporeans choose the norms and pursue careers in more traditional and conventional professions. With the beautiful game getting more and more worldwide coverage, many youths dream of following the footsteps of their idols. But for many years, it's been a game dominated by men. With the start of the FIFA Women's World Cup in 1991 and professional women's leagues starting to be set up around the globe, women's soccer has been starting to gain much attraction. But what about the next generation of soccer girls in Singapore? Is there a future for them? A good soccer girl is not only uh, skill-wise, but it, it, it is more uh, how they perform during the game and how consistent they are. Aside from that, a uh, good soccer girl is those who have good uh, relationship with their teammates, or other people and also the opponent. I have a lot of guy friends who play soccer with me and they know that I'm the captain of my team. They don't underestimate my potential and my ability to lead my own team. I think that girls also can play as good as boys, just in terms of the, their experiences and their passion. Over time, after playing with my teammates, over the season, playing few games weekly, my teammates make me a better keeper day by day. Well, in coaching women's soccer, I guess we have to take a bit of precaution uh, in terms of physical contact and everything else. Uh, restriction, I doubt so there's any, um, because I always told the pl uh, players that this is a physical game. If I need to demonstrate uh, anything physical, I will have to. And uh, I like them to think that I'm being professional. I actually encourage them to actually be, be playing like the boys. Uh, if they have to tackle hard, if they have to, 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 to uh, go shoot hard and everything else. So uh, I guess restriction and boundaries uh, is very minimal, but I always have to be aware of it and conscious of it. Yeah. Not only do the girls play soccer, they have also ventured into freestyle soccer. I started playing soccer since young. I have a love of, for soccer. But what makes me do football freestyle is I have a love for art, especially dance. Football freestyle is using all different parts of your body to control the ball. You have to follow the rhythm of the beats and the music and to add on flow with all your tricks together. How does the public feel about female soccer players? There's always a potential to um, train women to actually be better at what that, whatever they do. So it's all about having the proper training, proper amount of uh, knowledge and support from the community. If the girls actually go out with the boyfriend, she also likes the soccer, right? So they can enjoy together. A uh, point of time, probably they are not uh, really playing very well, I think. I mean, probably men is better. And I think more star actually is, uh, I mean, in the world, right? I mean, people know People in the world, as uh, the good soccer player is a man, right? Not, not, not really a woman. I think they can be really feminine and, you know, be soccer players. I think that's just a stereotype. It's just conventional to watch um, men play football because it's been going on for so long. And it's kind of difficult to, like, shift everyone to, like, you know, to watch females playing football. The important thing is to get the, what's called the grassroots sport. So obviously all the youngsters playing so that you can get competitive leagues starting right from the beginning. That's the only way that you can be really competitive when you get to the national team. But so, of course there is a future for that. How many competitions are available in Singapore? And how acceptable are they of female competitors? There isn't really any ladies competition in Asia or Singapore or anywhere. I'm always competing with the guys, so it's very hard to keep up. But what I think I have achieved is where am I today? For me, it's really not easy being a girl doing football freestyle. There isn't any much support here in Singapore, let's say. People don't even know, like, hey, ladies can do football freestyle here in Singapore. A lot of people is like, just look guys doing it, but they never thought that, you know, girls can actually do it too. For girls and guys, stamina-wise, fitness-wise, and football freestyle is actually very tiring for you to just juggle the ball, like, for like straight, if you try like a minute or so, it's actually very tiring and at the same time you have to do tricks. 
So fitness levels wise, it's very hard to go on par with guys. So we have to work extra harder to be on par with them and it's really, really hard. But I believe as long as you don't give up, girls, we are good at certain things that guys are not at, such as flexibility. So there are certain tricks that we can do, but they can't. So I think we just have to work, at, work on our strengths. Maybe because guys could play better and they have more skills than girls. I mean, girls have skills, but they don't have skills like guys do. Guys' soccer are more well-known and usually more people will come down to watch a guys' match because they think that a girls' soccer match is not fun and, and, and as challenging as guys' match. I feel um, for my students, they are mostly boys. The reason is because, like what I say, this is not a very known sport or art in Singapore yet. Like a lot of parents, they just send their kids to like normal soccer class. And for women's football in Singapore, it's slowly picking up. The number of uh, kids who are attending are mainly boys than girls. Yeah, because this is actually a boy sport, like a male-dominated sport. Soccer is indeed a male-dominated game. It's full of stereotyping opinions. Will these female players get their support? I don't believe that girls who cut their hair short make them lose their femininity. It's just maybe playing soccer with shorter hair is easier than with long hair. You need to tie tie up your hair before the game and the matches. The society, the stereotyping keeps continuing. The girls, they themselves um, don't dare to step out or when they step into the sport, like, uh, they'll feel like after like one or two weeks, they'll feel uncomfortable here, like there's no support, there's no growth. Everyone needs someone to support them in whatever they do. Yeah, I'm here to support her and if she needs help, I'll be there for her. Uh, to boost up her moral, give her and show her some support that she needs. Uh. Sometimes she comes to my game, but sometimes she doesn't. So it makes us most closer. Uh. She can be manlier than me, but I don't feel intimidated at all. Uh, with the girls, okay, they, they actually uh, always try to improve themselves, even though they know uh, something already. Or when I show them to do something, when I uh, show them a drill or a technique, and they are always willing to, to, to take in what I, I've said and, and try to improve themselves, uh, rather than the boys. Because sometimes the boys get too carried away, they, 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 they actually are quite proud. They, they think that they know how to do this, how to do that, and everything else. So that's the difference. Can female footballers reach up to the success of their male counterparts in soccer? I was given the chance to lead the team for Polite and also IVP. And I think that is one of the sweet achievements for me. Aside from that, I also managed to get the most valuable player for Warriors Award Ceremony. I would say it's not impossible to achieve awards same as those guys. What you need is persistent perseverance and that will definitely bring you to somewhere. And eventually, winning awards is not uh, something is imp impossible for us who play soccer. My coach actually gave me the captain armband with my name as a birthday gift for me to wear during my matches. Like, and it makes me feel proud leading the team. Actually, you don't have to bother about what people say. Especially, usually guys will say that they underestimate girls who, can't, who play soccer, but you know yourself better and you know you, that's your passion, that's what you love to do, then just do it. So I will always uh, uh, encourage them to go as, as, as far as they could, but if they decided not to, they wish to pursue uh, their careers in other things, uh, I wish them well, but at the same time, I, I hope that they learn something from me when they are here playing their football. Don't do this because you want to achieve this, achieve that. Do it because you love it. There could be a chance of success for soccer girls to play at a higher competitive platform in Singapore. But they can't do it by themselves. They need support from football associations and the general public. If we can make every soccer girl in Singapore say, I am soccer girl, proudly without hesitating, it's a sign that the girls have started to make it. <laughs>